I've been given the privilege and honor of sharing with you how you can receive salvation from your sins and be guaranteed an eternal life in heaven. Behind me is a unique means of transportation that allows us to reach a desired destination. There are some requirements, particularly on the pilot's part, to make the trip successfully. The first requirement is to plan carefully. Every pilot knows the importance of consulting the proper charts and maps to guide him to his destination. And in the same way, God has given you directions in His Word, the Bible, that will guide you as you plan your final destination. The first thing you must do in planning your final destination is to admit that you need Christ in your life. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. That means that none of us, because of our sinful nature, measure up to the standard that God has set for His highest creation. So, every person needs to admit that they have sin in their life and those sins need to be forgiven. Every person needs to admit that they need to have their sins forgiven. The second requirement is to have faith in the instruments. A pilot has to depend on, or that is, have faith in the instruments in his plane to be sure that he stays on course. And in the same way, you must express faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. The second thing you must do is believe, or that is, have faith, that you can have your sins forgiven by accepting Christ as your Savior. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, Jesus Christ is the only one who can give you salvation. He said Himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Without me, no one can go to the Father. The third requirement is communication. Every pilot must establish radio communication with air traffic controllers for specific instructions. Finally, you must confess, or that is, communicate to Christ that you want your sins forgiven and you want to be saved. Romans 10:9 and 10 says, you will be saved if you honestly confess Jesus as Lord and if you believe with all your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, God will accept and save you. True confession of your sins must involve being willing to repent of those sins and turn away from them. What does repentance mean? It simply means that you're sorry for the sins you've committed and you are ready and willing to make an about face and turn toward Christ and His forgiveness. Yes, it really is that easy. It's as simple as ABC. Simply admit that you have sin in your life that needs to be forgiven by God. Believe that the only way to have those sins forgiven is by receiving Christ as your Savior. And then finally confess, or that is, own up to the sins that are in your life. Repent of those sins and ask Christ to forgive them and give you salvation. Our prayer is that you will be willing to do that right now. You can call the number listed on the screen, 1-888-JESUS-2000, or go to the website, www.thegoodnews.org, and let someone help you to come to know Christ as your Savior. We've given you the numbers on the screen to call. However, if you'd rather not call those numbers, or if you are ready right now to receive Christ as your Savior after seeing this video, you can do so by just simply praying right now for Christ to come into your heart and into your life. Let me lead you in this prayer. And if you'll pray this prayer with me and sincerely mean it, Christ can be your Savior right this very moment. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge my sins. I admit that I need to be saved. And I believe, Heavenly Father, that You can save me from my sins and give me salvation through Your Son, Jesus Christ. And right now, I confess my sins to You. And I ask You to come into my heart. And I ask You to be my Savior right this very moment. 
And I pray this in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, if you've invited Jesus into your heart, if you've prayed that prayer, then you can be assured that Christ honored that prayer and He can be your Savior today. Thank you so much for watching this and may God bless you and have a blessed, wonderful day. Empty hands held high Such small sacrifice not joined with my life